Chiotsuki Toho paintings, due to changes in society and culture, and to the passing of time, are now very few. There are few that can be found in Taiwan. It's good that the Taipei Fine Arts Museum has two of them. Shotsuki Toho's portraits of Ataya girls were a 1930s portrait of a girl and a painting called Muzia from 1931 to 1932. It's the image of a girl from the Sadiq tribe playing the harmonica. During that time, Shiotsuki Toho painted many portraits of Atayo girls, especially of young girls. They represent the vibrant spirit of Aborigines, their down to earth spirit and naivete. That is what he painted. Even more interesting is his work exhibited in 1932 called Mother. It was also once called Mother and Son. It was the 1930 Usa incident, the Japanese slaughter of the Sadiq tribe. Shiotsuki Toho used this image of a mother to express his sadness. Towards the incident, or perhaps his protest. If we take the Taipei Fine Arts Museum's portrait of a girl and Muzia, and what we cannot see, to join an exhibit of that giant mother. With this work, we can see. Shiotsuki Toho is of the beastly type. He uses a wild style of painting. He uses strong colors red, black, and white. These strong colors and color blocks are expressive. His strong emotions are displayed on the image. Despite having a naive heart, respect is shown for this brave Ataya girl. We can see in very few paintings, in very unclear small images, we can still see her strength. He uses very pure and simple colors, very clean images, a very simple portrait of a person, but it can display her heart, her strength, the expression of her inner emotions. The Usa incident, this mother's face, it's very difficult to find a good print, but from the many lines on her expressions, we can see it. The Atayo woman is a strong mother. Despite major tragedy, she's not the least bit anxious. If it looks like she wants to say something, perhaps it is a protest, the desire to speak and end things. So, from the look in the eyes of different women portrayed in Shiotsuki Toho's works, Whether he is able to paint her eyeballs, or unable to. For example, the girl Sayan from a tribe in South Australia in Sayan's Bell. Her eyes are almost completely black. In that simple image, the eyes can speak. Artists can depict a person's inner spirit. We can use this type of analysis. For these small paintings. <laughs>